I'm going to share my experience on how I grew okra plants from seeds to a very good and amazing harvest in the UK as okra is best grown in the UK during summer. I sowed these okra seeds. This, this was the third time because the first two times I sowed them, all of them died because I, maybe because it was cold inside the house and I didn't want to give up on it. Still tried and the third time I sowed them end of May or beginning of June. I think it's beginning of June and it sprouted well, came up well and then I had grown it inside the house, brought them outside in proper summer. Actually okra plants grow well inside the glass house in the UK and you can bring them out after the last frost. So when it comes to pots, the pots they come up from midsummer to late till the beginning of autumn. As you can see here I soaked up these okra seeds in a wet tissue, put them in an airtight container near a radiator and they sprouted really well. So now I'm potting them in smaller pots till they sprout up and here are the okra saplings, two weeks old from the sprouts. I've just given a little support for this. It was hit by a tennis ball when my son was playing. I have them still indoors. I have not put them out yet because the temperature out is still frosty because okra plants cannot survive in this frosty weather. They really love warm weather. The seeds which, are, which I planted out in the planter sometime during March, none of them sprouted outside. Reason is, as I told you before, is the weather was way too bad for them. These okra saplings are three weeks old. Now is high time that I put it outside in the planter. So at first I'm going to pop them in carefully. So now we're going to put all the compost in the uh, grow bag that we got in Amazon. I'm going to plant it. And okra plants are now three months old. This one has started blooming. After it starts blooming, roughly about four to five days, small pods appear as in here. I have some 18 plants here in several pots. I visit these plants every day in the morning. So finally, here I have the fully grown okra plant. Actually, I was on vacation for two weeks. Just after I came, after the two weeks, I was standing upstairs and looking through the window, even when it was dark, and I could see okra, okra pots. Then I couldn't stand it, and straight on came in the morning, had a look at them, and was so much excited. And look at that. Look at the okra pots there. It is to this size and there look at that it comes up until that literally and this looks like it has matured which will not I believe this will not be fit for eating but I'm going to seed it out and use these seeds for next year's sowing and look at the pasta it looks so wonderful these are ready to be picked so when I went for vacation for two weeks, it was super hot here, somewhere around 30 to 35 degrees. And I didn't want the, these plants to die or starve of water. I got an automated watering system, which is connected to the pipe, to the sprinkler there, as you can see. And I had timed it in the evening for it to water the plants, which covered a large area. A fairly large area from there to there and so it planted okra it watered the okra plants the cabbages which you can see behind me and the bit of gut. you know harvest the pots when they are tender otherwise if it's not tender they become hard and 
unsuitable, which will not be fit to eat. Now I'm going to pick the parts. Actually, parts can be picked three to four days after they start coming up. So there, it looks like they are too fibrous because I left them for long as I couldn't have picked it. Let me pick these ones. And these parts can be used in curries or soups or fry as well. This one looks nice and tender. Let me pop it in. And regular picking encourages more parts to come up where you can harvest a lot. So this is my first harvest, which weighs approximately 250 grams. And I'm super, super excited, which makes this has made my day today. So one of the tips here is I'd like to give here is after the first flowering, I fed them with chicken pellets, which is high in potassium, calcium, and many other minerals. Okras are rich in calcium, which is good for health. And it's soup, it will be super tasty as well when you cook them. So next summer as well, I'm planning to plant more okras because this year I got a good harvest. Last year, I just literally, I don't want to lie here, literally I had only one pot of okra. This year, the harvest is plenty. The summer here in UK this year was superb, where we all enjoyed and still we are enjoying. It is end of August now. It's still sunny. So this is my another round of harvest midweek September. Nice to pick your vegetables from your own garden which is organic. And I love to show you one best thing. Let me pick this plant and keep it there. I'm not sure if you guys have already made it out. In every other plant you can just see this one stalk. In this single plant it's kind of a twin, it, it is a twin plant that I observed. I observed it only last week. And the same stem here, it's divided into two plants, which means it has two stalks, which is quite amazing. And this, this is the interesting part of it, and this is the beauty of this plant. I have never seen any okra plants with two stalks just being divided from the one plant. So guys, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And do not forget to share your comments with me. And if you have any tips, you can share them as well. And share this video with your friends as well. So take care and bye.